G'day everyone and welcome to my small backyard gardening YouTube channel. Uh, so today I just wanted to quickly talk about uh, zucchinis as this time of year, well at least down here in Australia, um, zucchinis are a pretty popular summer crop um, to grow and they're very productive. And I just want to bring up uh, just the best times to harvest these zucchinis. So I'm going to be bringing three uh, main points, which is really just the three different sizes and what each of those sizes are best for. Um, in regards to picking your zucchinis. Now, if at all during this video um, you do like it, then please um, consider subscribing to um, see more videos like this one and um, other things on how to grow your own organic produce for as cheap as possible. So, zucchinis, um, as I said, they're pretty popular um, and the three main sizes are pretty simple, small, medium and large, um, just like that. So really, just for the small ones, uh, these are generally probably about this big, um, they generally uh, just have, as you pick them, they will still have the flower on it or it's just come off. Um, and these are really good for um, quite simply just steaming. Um, steaming or using them in, just like you can use them in anything, but particularly steaming and just having them raw. Um, this is definitely the best because um, the smaller they are, the more flavor that they have and also the more tender that they are. Um, so the second size, which is more the medium, in the medium category, um, these are a bit bigger, they are a bit rounder, um, nice and fat, and they've also got a bit more length to them, so you do have some more um, food to actually eat from these, however, they still have um, good flavour, um, the skin can get a little tough though, and also um, these ones are really good in things like stir fries, um, or like, like steaming up and mixing them with other vegetables, using them in salads and other things like that. Um, so that's what the medium size is best for. And finally, for the large size, these can get absolutely massive. This can, there's really no limits in terms of how big they can get because zucchinis can get pretty enormous. Um, but these are definitely best for things like soups or um, just saving seed because um, you've got to let the zucchini get pretty big before you can save them for seed. Um, but definitely for the bigger ones, soups I think are the best way to go as the skin gets quite tough and firm and so you don't want to be eating that so you generally peel that away and then cut it up or grate it and it breaks down really nicely into soup. doesn't have heaps of flavour compared to the um, two smaller sizes but they still have that nice flavour. And uh, just the other day I made some zucchini and potato soup I'm um, using zucchinis and potatoes that I've grown myself and that was very nice um, and that was with one of the bigger zucchinis that I used. So there you go guys, I hope that helps you uh, with in regards to picking your zucchinis. So um, that is pretty much the end of the video um, but before I do quickly move on I will definitely have to give a massive shout out and need to say thank you to my amazing patrons um, over on Patreon. Um, so thank you guys so much. These are some amazing people who just give a small financial donation every month and get some pretty neat rewards. So if you want to check out uh, my Patreon page, there will be a tile coming up at the end of the video somewhere around here. Otherwise there's a link in the description. I'll put it up in the YouTube card. I think it's that corner. Um, but if you did like that, make sure you leave a big thumbs up. And if you have any comments, suggestions or questions for me or you just want to say good day, pop them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And also, make sure you check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's pretty much just at Jacob's Backyard or at Jacob's BG um, for all of them. It should pop up. And finally, if you do want to subscribe just to stay updated, so whenever I post a video here on YouTube, you can come along and check it out. Then make sure you click on my face. That's popping up just around here. Otherwise, there will be a um, subscribe button straight below um, to the right-hand right -hand side that you can click on, and that will keep you notified. So I hope you're all having a crack of a week and I will see you all next video. Cheers all.